Hey, what's going on everybody? DroidLife.com here. We're going to show you today the Droid Mod 1.0 ROM that just got released from the Droid Mod team. They are the what used to be the Shoals Mod team. And as you can see, when you have it up <clears throat> when you have it installed, it gives you a completely new boot screen which actually says droid mod on it which is kind of cool so anyway I just want to show this to you guys because they just released this um, within the last day or so and it includes the live wallpapers which I know everyone's been anxiously awaiting um, in the 2.1 update that we're supposed to be getting for our phone um, we all kind of thought that we weren't gonna get it so this is an option that's out there for you you can be running Android 2.0.1 and you can still have live wallpapers on there so <clears throat> anyway this is the droid mod 1.0 or a lot of people are referring to it as Shoals 2.0.6. So anyway, um, when you when you open it up, we'll just show you all the goodies you get with the Droid Mod One. Okay, so when I first pull this up, I'll show you first that we do have five screens, which we will hopefully get when we get our official 2.1 update. But you never know. As you can see, runs fairly nicely. Um, I do have it overclocked right now to 800. 800 megahertz so it's running a little smoother than it normally would um, and let's get right in here and just show you the goodies right away which are the live wallpaper so you change them just like you would any other live wallpaper and we can go ahead and load these up and I know everyone seems to love the water one so let's just pick that one first so that shows up and we just hit set wallpaper and there it is you can see those leaves nicely moving um, if you don't have the 2.1 launcher installed you do not have the interactive touch where you can make it splash but um, as you can see it definitely works and those leaves are moving around and we got water and you can see ripples and stuff going through there so definitely works and is a nice little feature to add on there um, like I said I have mine overclocked right now at 800 megahertz so these live wallpapers aren't slowing it down at all if you had it running at 600 still you might see it as a little slower so anyway let's show you just another couple here here's the Nexus wallpaper which everyone's seen a lot now if these were interactive you'd be able to touch in here and you'd get these little cross hatches wherever you touch but since we don't have the 2.1 launcher can't see those and let's look at one other one let's go ahead and look at the galaxy which is always a cool one so galaxy is the one where as you're flipping through it zooms in and then it tilts it so definitely an interactive live wallpaper you can't touch that one and do anything cool with it but you can just see that it moves with each screen and you can see it is swirling around see that so very cool stuff um, some of the other things in here that you probably want to know about are the browser uh, the milestone browser is included in this ROM which includes multi-touch so if we pull up droidlife.com you can see we can pinch and zoom on it so it does have the multi-touch browser and let's go back here and show you the gallery which is the 2.1 gallery so pull up 2.1 gallery and we'll just go to this picture oh it's probably better that way and we can pinch and zoom there so you can see it's got that gallery and we also have the genie news and weather widget so we can go ahead and click on that and you can flip from topic to topic and it also has your weather on there so that's very nice um, like I said we do have the five screens on there and let's see what else would be new well the Google Maps is still the same one still updated um, I think that is basically all the new goodies that you're going to want on here as you can see I got root access there's my little ninja um, I did do set CPU and I'll show you that real quick you can see I'm at running at 800 megahertz and you can download set CPU in the market I think it costs like a dollar or something like that and it allows you to uh, set up your phone a little bit faster uh, we can go into system info and it shows you that we're running at 32 degrees Celsius not too bad and we can benchmark it and it shows you how we're doing that's actually not that great of a number um, but we refresh and go back and you can set up all this stuff to make sure your phone's running at you know great performance and uh, that's pretty much it I know everyone wanted to see these live wallpapers running on 2.0.1 so uh, this is a great way to 
great way to uh, get that working before we get our 2.1 update, which we don't even know if it's going to feature that or not. So um, anyway, droidlife.com, if you want to go install this, um, you can download the Droid Mod updater. We got a link to it at our site, which is obviously droid-life.com. Um, definitely some risk involved with doing this. You know, it voids your warranty because you got to root it and you're installing a custom ROM and stuff like that. So there's a lot of risk involved. Um, the Droid Mod updater makes everything pretty much simple and it does everything for you. So there's not a lot of screw ups you can do, but it's still, you know, you need to be warned that it's something that you're really changing your phone on, especially when you're overclocking and things like that. So just be pretty careful with, under, with, with it and understand, you know, there are some fallback or drawbacks to it. So anyway, a lot of fun, droidlife.com, check us out and download the Droid Mod uh, updater and we're out. Peace.